there is no substitute for hard work. Okay? If you're going to create wealth, you must understand wealth is not for the lazy man. It's for the person that has a dream and that is willing to roll up his sleeves and to go after the fulfillment of that dream. The woman that wants to be financially independent must know that she needs to put in the required effort to make it happen. So be a person of your word and be a person of action. Do it. Do it. Make a move. Okay? If, if somebody says, oh, the problem is I can't find a job, volunteer somewhere. Volunteer somewhere. You know why that is powerful? You may not be getting a pay at the end of the day, but the fact that you are giving provokes a cycle. Your job will come out from somewhere. It happened to me. I couldn't get a job for a long time. And then one day I just decided, you know what? Why stay at home? I'm going to offer my services for free at my church. I went, I spoke to my pastor. It was a Thursday that I said, I think I want to come in to the church office to help. The next day, he introduced me to all the staff. Two days after, the Sunday, somebody came and said, I was informed that there's an opening for a site engineer on this particular site. Because my background was in civil engineering. I got the job. It's amazing the way it works. <laughs> I, I mean, in this instance, it wasn't even that I had offered the services, it was that I showed willingness, made the move, and the job popped out. I'm talking about principles here. They have no respect for persons. What you sow is what you reap. Okay? So, but back to those of us uh, that either are career people working maybe in a particular office or workshop or working in somebody's business. Okay? You're offering services already. I want you to understand the powerful dynamics uh, behind what you're doing. You've got to think beyond your salary. You've got to think of financial independence. You've got to think of your future. And let your vision of that future influence how well you do your work. You've got to do it well. The person that is thinking of where he or she is going to be in 10 years time or 20 years time, how prosperous he or she is going to be, can't do the job the same way someone that is just there to get a salary would do the job. Be a person of vision. Immerse yourself in this job. Unleash your loyalty on this job. More than that, upgrade your skills. Make yourself indispensable, okay? Let it be that you are the one person that can be trusted by the leadership when they have very important assignments to give out. I'm sure you know that with time, all that evolves in any organization, that with time, the CEO is able to identify the people that will really do the job. When they have very critical assignments to carry out, it's those dependable people that they look for. Be that person. Be that person. I guarantee you, you'll always have a job. But more than that, you'll be getting some money. But then more than that, there's a chance. There's a chance that when a breakthrough opportunity shows up somewhere, you'll get a high recommendation to go to the job. No room for laziness. Move yourself. Get out of your bed. If necessary, get out of your house or pick that phone, make that phone call. Okay? I mean, that's one of the very important things that I have learned to do. Okay, so now the money is coming back. So let's assume the money is not coming back. So what should you do with the money? Now you are getting money you never got before. What should you do with it? 
very very important what you do with it will determine whether you get more or not or whether you go back to where you used to be totally bankrupt the first thing that's important is for you to have a spending plan plan how you will spend the money before the money arrives some of it you need to pay your bills you need to buy food some others you need to cultivate so that you can reproduce even more money and more wealth so as you get the money have a spending plan i encourage the, your first item should be given or you're going to give out every smart farmer knows when he or she harvests his or her crops he or she takes aside some for planting the next season and it's got to be more than you sowed the last time so that you can harvest more than you are harvesting this time save saving must be there it's absolutely critical one of the habits of highly successful people and wealthy people is that they don't spend all their money they don't spend all the money that comes in so while they are working to increase their income they are working to lower their expenses save some and then invest what you save invest what you save buy some piece of land somewhere buy some property somewhere and just live live them there long term 10 years 15 20 that's what you should have in mind it would be good for you to have a knowledge of the stock market because it's good to invest there also or you might just find someone that is about to start a new business but does not have the capital i think that's one of the best forms of investment somebody says but what if it doesn't work out what if, what if i lose my money then you should know what to look out for it's not enough that the person is your friend you've got to know what to look out for the character is important if you're going to give your money to someone <laughs> you had better be sure of the person's integrity okay so and then you've got to be sure of the person's competence in the area of the financial sector that he or she functions in. The person has got to be to have competence. The person's got to be able to come take a look at things, you know, and know what will work and what will not work, and should be able to advise you. If, for example, somebody wants to sell shares to me, I want to ask whether the person has shares. How do you sell, sell, sell to me effectively if you've not experienced uh, what is important to me? Okay? So, I want to encourage uh, that you don't part with your hard-earned money giving your money to people that have no experience, no expertise in the area of what they want to sell you. Listen, a lot of such people, they get commissions, yeah, so they just after volume. But sometimes even they have no such investment. Why should I invest in a financial instrument when even you that are selling it don't trust it enough? So, save your money take care of your basic bills and please invest some of your money regularly it's not enough to make money we've got to learn to multiply money whenever you need it whenever it makes sense buy insurance just in case something goes wrong so you don't bear all the burden alone okay you want to protect your environment